Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat with Shaken. I hope you guys had a great weekend. It's still not over, but I hope you guys take this day to get some rest and to focus on the week ahead. So thanks for joining me again. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, booking all of your donations and tips and purchases. I truly appreciate you guys. I still have the um, special going on. I extended it for the um, weekend. All right. And it's buy one, get one half off on the spiritual baths. The large is 20, the small is 15. All right. And then I also have the sage soap here, freshly made sage soap, and it's $5. Okay. That's a special. And also I'm including some detox rocks. All right. To detox your mind, your heart space, your energy, your, just everything to cleanse. It's all about cleansing so we can have a new start. Okay. So this is what I still have the buy one, get one half off and the $5 sage soap. Okay. So if you'd like to place an order, please give me a shout at queen of wands 50 at gmail.com. All right. I also want to share with you guys that yesterday I went on a biblical history center adventure. Okay. It was so beautiful. It was so unique and it was so different. It was just like a ancient trip to Israel. So it was very, very um, amazing. I have some beautiful pictures. I will be posting a video that's being made of the visit. Okay. Me and my girlfriend made a visit out there and it was a, a, an amazing event. And it was just like you were there in Israel, you know, in the ancient times with the divine and spirit. And you just saw so much. So we're putting together a video for that trip. So I can't post it online for you guys. Okay. And it was all about learning more about your biblical knowledge. All right. Enhancing your um, experience with the divine. You know, I felt like I was um, walking through where he lived, where they lived. Okay. Or whatever that was. It was an amazing experience. Okay. So I have some energy here for you guys here, and it's all about clearing out things, canceling things, and releasing things. People, places, situations that's no longer serving uh, interest in your life, okay? The next thing I have right here is a positive pregnancy test, all right? Um, this could be a single mom, all right? And somebody could be staying with this person because they found out that they're pregnant again. So somebody could already have a child, and now they're pregnant again, okay? But Divine said this was some sneaky snake shit. So somebody could have had planned this pregnancy in order to try to hold on to somebody. Okay? Now, on the other energy, somebody could have just had a child. Okay? It's always this kid energy going on right here. And Divine is saying somebody's lying about how many kids they got. All right? They denying kids. They lying about it. They got three or more kids. Somebody could have up to eight kids. Okay? Wow. Okay. And also somebody is like really into tarot. Somebody is watching their life through tarot. They're seeking guidance, all of their questions and answers through tarot. Okay. Somebody could be hiding from you because of a situation here. And look at this because they were sneaky. So that snake is still in the camp, y'all. Okay. That snake is still here. And somebody's hiding from you. Somebody could have ghosted you. They did some fuck shit to you. All right. And now they're trying to cover it up. Somebody want to come back and put a band-aid on some fuck shit that they did to you. All right. Covering up. They don't want to tell you shit. All right. And they watching everything that's going on here through um, tarot. Okay. Because somebody want to return. All right. So divine saying you're a high priestess. You already know what the fuck somebody is up to. You already see right through their ass. They're very transparent. And you know that they're still up to fuck shit. All right. It's time to walk away from this, all right? Eight of Cups energy, somebody could have walked away from another situation. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they could have walked away from a situation because you already know what's up with this person. It ain't shit else that they can do to you. You already know what the fuck they're about, okay? And also, Divine could have had made this person walk away, all right? Block this energy from you. You're very defensive, all right? And you know that this person is nothing but the Ten of Wands, a whole bunch of problems, burdens, all the drama and the bullshit that they uh, bring into your life. And you're trying to be at peace and you're trying to heal because you are the sun. This is your happiness. Somebody's trying to fuck with your happiness with their burdens, baggage, and problems. You're the sun card here. You're happy within yourself. You could be in another relationship and you could be specifically a Leo. Okay? And also... 
something could be going on with someone's son as well. Okay. So let's get off into the energies here and let's find out what we need to know for this reading here. All right. Yeah. Look at that shit. I said you could be a Leo. Look at that shit. The Leo card came right out. Okay. And um, somebody trying to put a Leo in a third party and some fuck shit. All right. And it came right out here. Okay. It's too many people involved in this connection. All right. You could be a Leo with multiple lovers or you could be someone who's trying to put Leo in some fuck shit. All right. Holy Spirit, what's the major energies that we need to know for this re -up reading? <laughs> I was going to say re-up. So I don't know <laughs> if somebody's out there re-ing up. Okay. I don't know what that means all the way. Okay. But somebody's expecting it on. Uh, somebody's um, planning to visit you unexpectedly. All right. And it could be a Leo. Okay. But expect the unexpected visitor. Somebody's going to pop up and surprise you. Somebody might want to bring you some flowers as well. Okay. Somebody's going through a lot of depression and anxiety. Somebody's very depressed in this situation. All right. Yeah. Somebody's pregnant here. So it's definitely a lot of pregnancies going on. This is another pregnancy for a term. And this could be the person who just birthed this baby. Okay. So it's definitely some pregnancy going on here. Somebody could be depressed about another child. Depressed about a full term pregnancy. Maybe somebody didn't want this. Wow. Somebody just had a miscarriage. So it's definitely some pregnancies going on here, all right? Somebody could have had a miscarriage, and it even could have had been a full-term pregnancy. You could have had a stillborn, my deepest condolences, all right? But somebody's depressed maybe of having a miscarriage or mourning the loss of a child, all right? Like I said, my deepest condolences, all right? Holy Spirit, what's the overall energy for this reading? Yeah, there was a tower moment here. So something definitely um, came crashing down. And also this marriage, this miscarriage, well, maybe somebody was married, okay? It was, I said marriage. So maybe somebody was married, had a miscarriage, all right? It could have been due to an argument, a fight that led someone to have a miscarriage, okay? The next energy, it could have been a cancer who had a miscarriage, all right? Holy Spirit, what's the energy here? Someone's driving to see you. Somebody really wants to see you. And somebody got kicked out of a home situation. Somebody got to move out. All right. It could have been some type of fight or a tower moment with a cancer. All right. And now somebody wants to come over and see you because they either moved out or got kicked out of another situation. Okay. Holy Spirit, what else we need to know here? This person could be a Pisces, okay? Whoever this is, they could be a Pisces that's on their way to see you. Holy Spirit, what's this energy that we need to share? Yeah, and this person, um, this could be someone's wife. This Pisces could be a wife, okay? And this also could be the Pisces wife, all right? That kicked them out, okay? Yeah, this was a karmic relationship. All right, it exploded. Definitely a tower moment here. All right, and now somebody is thinking and self reflecting. All right, somebody's definitely soul searching due to an ending of a relationship. Okay, it could be an Aries involved in this situation. Maybe this wife was an Aries. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the overall energies? Yes, this wife, this Aries is a karmic. Okay. This is what divine letting you know. This was a whole karmic relationship here and it came crashing down. Okay. Somebody could be married to this Aries. All right. And divine is confirming that this person was a karmic. All right. This wife was a karmic. All right. This Aries was a karmic. All right. This Aries could have been married to a Pisces. What's the over our energies, Holy Spirit? Yeah, they could have ghosted that person, that marriage, this relationship. Somebody got ghosted here, all right? They disappeared from a connection that they was probably tied to or married to, okay? Yeah, they could have did this this spring, all right? 
And yeah, and somebody's here with a Taurus now. All right, so Taurus is here. What's going on with this Taurus, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this Taurus could be at a crossroads. Just not sure which road they want to take. All right, something could have happened this spring with a Taurus. And they're just a little bit confused about which road they want to choose now at this point. All right, any more messages out of this deck, Holy Spirit? All right, here's two. Yeah, they can't make a move because they're having financial constraints. Somebody's money is all tied up in a situation. Okay, the next energy is this could have happened this summer. So somebody could have put themselves in a situation, spring, in the summer. It went all through there. Somebody had financial constraints, money problems, all spring and summer, okay, because they're blocked. Somebody is definitely blocked from manifesting. Somebody is blocked from growing. And somebody has been blocked from you, okay? You could have even blocked this person, but somebody's definitely blocked. This next energy right here. Yes, abandonment issues. Somebody, you can have blocked somebody and they feel abandoned by you. They feel left alone. All right. Yeah, Divine said they feel angry as fuck. And somebody's sending you evil eye. And somebody's definitely watching you. All right. Wow. And somebody could have found out that they have an STD. Somebody got a, a positive STD test result back here. All right. Syphilis, HIV. All right, somebody definitely got um, a positive STD test back. It was all positive. Whatever that they had, it was positive. All right. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yeah, somebody could have fucked around on 4th of July and caught an STD. All right. Caught an STD. What's these messages right here? Now, here's Halloween. All right. So what's happening here on Halloween? Holy Spirit, we're going to clarify that and see what's going on, okay? Right here is, all right, so on Halloween, somebody want to return from your past. Somebody wants to come back to you, okay? Because they know you got some money coming in. Somebody wants to return to you only because they know that you have some money, okay? Holy Spirit, what is this Halloween? Could you give us some more clarity here with Halloween? What's going on with Halloween, Holy Spirit? Wow. Somebody could be married. This could be somebody's anniversary on Halloween. Somebody could have gotten married here. Yeah, and somebody's moving in together. All right? So somebody could have gotten married here or getting married, and they're moving in together. This might take place today because somebody just left another situation. Okay? Yeah, somebody could be moving in with an Aquarius, and they plan on marrying this person. Okay? And they propose to this person, an Aquarius. And this is who they're moving in with now, okay, after they left another situation. Somebody could have left a baby's mama, okay, Holy Spirit. Somebody is a hopeless romantic, always hoping things work out um, in a love situation, all right? Somebody missed this opportunity with you, so you set up for someone else here, all right? And somebody's always daydreaming, fantasizing over you. They really miss you. But this situation came to an end. Divine blocked this connection out of your life. All right. And somebody's carrying devil energy, but it's also a Capricorn that's daydreaming. All right. And fantasizing about what you guys could have had. Okay. All right. So somebody made some type of investment. Okay. In a situation with a Scorpio. Okay. Somebody invested in a Scorpio. What else we need to know? And now the Scorpio want to be left alone because somebody made the wrong investment. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, what we need to know, what's going on with the birth of this baby here? What's going on with the birth of this baby? All right. Somebody's moving back in with somebody, but somebody got a whole bunch of fucking secrets that somebody is not telling somebody. All right. Somebody is only moving in with somebody due to survival mode. All right. Somebody's having financial problems and they cannot take care of themselves. So it's just like in survival mode. They're going from relationship to relationship to relationship. Only in survival energy. OK, the birth of a child. Holy Spirit What's the birth of a child. All right. I got these messages here. Self-focus. Somebody need to focus on themselves. All right. This is also a new beginning. So someone is focusing on themselves because they have a new beginning. 
All right. This is a twin flame. So somebody's twin flame is focused on themselves. They're birthing new ideals. All right. It could be a child involved here, but this is definitely a high level soul connection. Okay. All right. Yeah. And somebody's having a secret affair. This twin flame could be in another connection. This twin flame could be having other affairs. Okay. If you're still in this twin flame connection, your twin flame is having an affair with someone else. Okay. They're in another connection. Okay. And they're just a secret affair. Okay. And this is, it's a thin line between love and hate. So they keep going back to somebody and it's like, they don't know. Somebody's very confused about if they love somebody or if they hate somebody, if they want to be with somebody or if they don't, somebody's definitely playing mind games. All right. Somebody don't know what they want. They just going back to all the connections that they kept hitting and whichever one works out for them, they'll be there temporary. Okay. This is definitely short term energy. Yep. Because. It's a loyalty here. That's what I said. Somebody don't know what they want. They don't know who they want to be loyal to. Somebody don't even know how to be fucking loyal. Somebody don't know how to be dedicated to love. Okay. Holy Spirit. What's this energy? Yes. Because they keep going into karmic cycles. Somebody keep learning karmic um, lessons. Keep going through karmic lessons. And they're not learning them. Okay. And um, they keep putting themselves back into repetitive behavior and somebody definitely have a loyalty problem it's just a karmic energy here you know they just keep going back and forth they don't know how to be loyal to each other at all okay you out here getting a new attitude you tired of this shit you tired of somebody playing mind games with you all right you have built up your confidence you trust no one but yourself okay you all about yourself now all right you built up your confidence you know what you want okay and you have serious intentions and whoever you date, you pay, you plan for keeps. All right. You know what you want. All right. And somebody else don't somebody keep playing games, just going back to whoever will accept them because they in survival mode. All right. Somebody don't really have anything to offer you. And so that's why they go back to people who they don't have to offer shit to. All right. But right now you got serious intentions. You know what you want and you're not settling for anybody else who's trying to bring bullshit to the table. OK, your confidence level is very high. Did I say somebody deal with short term ass relationships? What's this card? Short term ass relationships. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for my confirmation. OK, <laughs> somebody strictly about short term. They only there long as they need you. Long as you can do for them. Okay, as long as they can get something from you, but when that need is over, okay, they're gone. Okay, and this right here is what you're looking for. You're looking for the stars, the sun, the rainbow. You're looking for a serious commitment, and you're not going to be offering your time or energy into any other relationship unless it leads to marriage. Okay, somebody even proposed to somebody for a place to stay. Okay. Somebody went that far, but the thing about it is that ring is fucking recycled. Okay. It came from somebody else. All right. Love is in the air. Love is in the air y'all. Okay. All right. So somebody's online flirting and tweeting other people, sending messages. Somebody's definitely flirting with other people online. Somebody's meeting people online. All right. Holy spirit. What's the overall energy? All right. These cards just jumped out. Yep. Somebody meeting people online because they just want to fuck. They just want quickies here. Somebody could be having an affair with somebody at work. All right. Somebody got two phones. Somebody bullshitting you. All right. And somebody is like, somebody feel like you cheating all up in their face. You met somebody new and somebody stalking you. So they seeing you with someone else and they're very jealous about it. Okay. Yep, that you're taking off. Somebody could be moving. Somebody could be flying away, putting that much distance in between yourselves, moving in another direction, another state, another city, town. All right, somebody's taking off in another direction. Okay, yeah, it's a lot of evidence. Somebody is just a faithful fucking cheater. All right, somebody got lipstick stains all on their clothes and shit. Come home like that. Somebody hiding. Two phones. Look at this shit. And Divine says somebody's just a trickster. 
Somebody is a liar and a fucking trickster. And this is all that they're about. They're just a liar and a trickster. All right. But divine said, it's happier days ahead. After the storm, after the clouds, you will see the rainbow and the sun. It's a lot of sun energy out here. Somebody is on their way to happier times. All right. You are chosen. Okay. You are chosen. But also somebody chose somebody to marry. And this is a red flag energy. All right, this is red flag energy here because somebody is still a trickster. And just like I said, somebody could have had engaged to, and proposed to somebody because they need them. They ain't shit but a trickster. I don't feel no real love on this table. This is all tricks, games, quickies, you know, sex. Divine said, they sending you guys reminders about what you need to let go. You guys are getting reminders that could be feathers. And it's like divine is trying to download signs and synchronicities to you. That somebody's still up to bullshit. Somebody is still a trickster. And they're trying to bring you into their bullshit. All right? Yeah, somebody's just in it to score. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right? I'm telling you, this trickster is just in this to score. Because this is somebody who needs people. Who needs some help. Somebody's in survival mode. And that's why they're returning to you, okay? The next energy is love always wins. Somebody think they can tell you what they want to hear and then they'll win. But they only in it to score, all right? And divine says as soon as they get in, then they're going to be in and out again. So the same shit that they was doing to you in the beginning is what they will continue to do. Be in and out of your life, all right? And then they're going to be like, don't leave, don't leave. I'm trying to work it out. OK, they don't want you to leave, but they just in and out of your life. So you have to choose what's best for you. You know, you have to choose what's best for you. Do you want to continue to have an open relationship with somebody with somebody who's in and out? OK, look at this. This is dirty and messy ass business here. Somebody is just dirty and somebody is just fucking messy. All right. This could be your home, your laundry or just your lifestyle. Or it could be you, okay? Yeah, all right. So somebody could be running into somebody. It's like somebody going to get busted cheating here, all right? Somebody's going to get busted cheating here. It's a masculine energy that's out dating somebody else. But yet somebody else they know, well, they're going to run into that person. Somebody going to get busted here, okay? And that's why Divine saying somebody is just fucking dirty and messy. After so long, you keep doing this dumb, immature fuck shit. You just fucking dirty and messy. You just dirty and you just fucking messy. It's like somebody cannot stop doing fuck shit. Somebody can't get enough. Somebody's purpose is just to fuck people over here. All right. Yes. And all you see is love with this person. But this person's such a lying ass manipulator. And as you see, anything that comes up in red, is a fucking red flag because somebody keep trying to fuck you over. And that's why divine saying somebody need to clear, cancel and release this motherfucker that keep trying to fuck you over. It could be a male or a female energy, but I'm getting heavily a strong male energy because they keep getting busted with all these bitches. OK, they keep getting busted. All right. Yes, because this person always want to get close to everybody. This is somebody who's real flirtatious, but please be advised that this person have a sexually transmitted disease. All right. Somebody do. Okay. Look at this. Cause somebody always sleeping around, want to have rendezvous and then they want to come in and breadcrumb you and act like they give a fuck. They want to come in here and breadcrumb you and act like they care. And somebody is definitely addicted to tarot readers. Y'all watching a whole lot of tarot here. Okay. So Holy Spirit, why is the sun here? Because somebody is on their way to complete abundance and happiness after a whole bunch of problems. Okay. Holy Spirit, clarify the sun for this reading. All right. Thank you. Yup. Look at that. After this tower moment, after this fuck shit is being exposed, after something is being brought down, here's the sun. The happiness, a healthy, happy relationship. Sun energy, some shit has been illuminated through this tower. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys for this reading. If you like your own personal reading, please give me a shout at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. I'll be dropping another few videos to get you guys all caught up. 
Alrighty, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.